Hello, my name is Fred Ramonda and uh, we build and repair pressure washers. One common issue uh, with pressure washers, particularly hot water units, is um, nowadays the 12 volt burner has become uh, more popular than the combination of 120 volt burners uh, paired with a generator, typically a 120 volt generator. Uh, it simplifies everything because it eliminates the generator and the idea is to use the power generating uh, capabilities of the uh, gasoline or diesel engine used for the machine. Uh, typically those engines, particularly if they happen to have uh, a starter, they rely on a 12 volt alternator, typically built into a flywheel on the smaller gas engines. And on the larger uh, gas or diesel engines, uh, then there will be an alternator similar in a way to the way they are mounted on regular vehicles. Uh, one of the main issues is on small engines, typically, sometimes the charging system is designed specifically to hold power in the battery for cranking purposes only. Therefore, they have a capacity of 5, maybe 10 amps, sometimes 15 amps. What happens is a uh, typical burner, particularly larger ones, uh, for example, the SDC burners uh, manufactured of Beckett, they typically require approximately 20 amps. Uh, the motor itself uh, consumes about fairly close to 10 amps continuously, and the igniter also another 9 amps or so. Basically what happens is they do have two different options. I mean, they have one with the photocell, which is called interrupted ignition, and the purpose of that is once the flame is established by the burner, then uh, the spark is interrupted. Therefore, uh, the uh, igniter doesn't consume uh, any power. The uh, problem is most companies today, uh, they manufacture to eliminate cost or reduce cost. Uh, the photocell is not being used uh, and therefore the uh, igniter works on a continuing basis. We had an issue because uh, we built a hot water pressure washer with a D722 Kubota, excellent engine. Uh, the only problem is the alternator on that uh, unit is rated at 15 amps. So we had a problem in order to maintain the battery charged. So what we had to do at some point was to get a different type of alternator, actually one for a Yanmar, this was an aftermarket uh, type of alternator, and basically the construction is very similar. Uh, the rotor contains uh, permanent magnets, and then it has a stator, and the stator contains uh, the copper wi uh, windings where actually uh, electricity is generated. So what we had to do was to replace this alternator for one produced for a Yanmar, similar in design, but with a capacity of 20, uh, or about 25 amps, I believe. And what we did is, instead of using a Yanmar voltage regulator, we used a Kohler uh, regulator designed for 25 amps. Uh, basically all these solid state regulators work in the same kind of principles. Uh, the AC input, because remember it's an alternator, that has no brushes, therefore it's an AC will this alternator generate, fit into these two terminals. Uh, the uh, case itself connects to ground, and then the center tab is the one that produces the rectified regulated 12 volts to maintain the charge on the battery. Turn it off. This is uh, the Yanmar uh, alternator. As you can see, physically it's a little bigger than the unit that came originally with a D722, which is the Samsung right here. And then there are three wires going to the Kohler regulator. Uh, it has worked fantastically well, produces over 13 and a half volts. That is with the burner running, uh, full blast. So the capacity is, uh, is uh, great you know, for this kind of application. So uh, it does take a little bit of a uh, few little uh, adaptations because, but typically these alternators, they have two points of support. They have one at the bottom where the piece can swivel, and then the one on the top where it is the adjustment to adjust the tension on the belt. Very simple, it has worked excellent. This machine has uh, dozens of hours of operation, reliable operation. We haven't had a problem at all. The burner has worked consistently and effectively.